Hi everyone, welcome to the video. So this is my last day here. As you can see, I am still in the same flat <laughs> as I was before and um, it's all been sorted. It's all been um, taken care of. It's a long story, but I'm not gonna bore you with the details, but I'm still here as you can see. And um, I had a fantastic time yesterday. It was my birthday and I went out for a cake and coffee and I had a um, meal um, and I've put video vid footage up of what I did and what have you. Um, and one of the things I did yesterday evening was go to the theatre. And um, I absolutely adore, I love going to the theatre. I love musicals, I love performance, I love all of that good stuff. Anyway, what I went to go and see was, so the thing is, I'm in the Netherlands and so the Dutch are very innovative and they're very forward thinking, very creative. There's a lot that goes on and there's a lot of little things like knick-knacky things that you don't get to see, but like you really have to kind of look and observe a lot of the things. And I've seen so many things since I've been here, but to be fair, I've been here like five times already. So um, I notice every time I come, I notice more and more things and they're all kind of quirky things right up my street. And um, yes, I went to this, um, I went to a play last night and it was fantastic. And it was very out there. And you really have to have a very open mind to appreciate the, um, the subtleties, the creativity, the spontaneity, the, all of that kind of stuff. You really have to have an open mind and an open heart. Um, anyway, the play was called Dark Matter. I've got the program, I've decided to keep it. It was called Dark Matter. And it, the um, performance, I believe it was choreographed by um, Cherish Menso. I could be incorrect about that. Yes, I think it is. And um, wow, what a strong presence she has. Like very strong woman strong presence um, and to me the way I interpret this um, whole um, performance to me the way I saw it especially when I was listening to um, some of the lyrics um, it was about what we've gone through recently I'm not going to say the word because I don't want my video to get flagged <laughs> But it was kind of about that. I feel like it was probably done during the, that time, you know what I mean? Like the last two years because of some of the things that go in here. And I feel like plays very often are open to interpretation. Um, and I feel like you have to really kind of read between the lines. And I feel like it's one of those plays that you, you decide, but, um, I don't feel that's what they said it was, if I'm not mistaken, but I just feel, I'm not gonna read all the lyrics and everything like that, but um, I do feel like it was a really interesting performance and they got naked, like, I mean, butt naked it, at the end of the performance. And that was kind of unexpected and um, I'm gonna try and um, put some video footage up um, and I don't know, I hope it can go up and it's not gonna get censored or something like that, but I'm gonna try and put some of the video footage up um, maybe tomorrow or tonight. Actually, I leave tomorrow's my last day. So um, yeah, it was just, it was just fantastic. It was such a brilliant performance. Um, anyway, um, I'm heading out to the beach today. It's raining, like ever so slightly. It's not like, you know, 
chucking it down or anything like that, but it's ever so slightly raining. But I'm still prepared to go to the beach and just, you know, just to, while I'm here, just to chill out and what have you. Um, yeah, it's been really good because every time I've come here in the past, I have, you know, not every time, but I've partake, I was partaking in ceremony and things like that. But this time round, um, it was a slightly different feel because I specifically um, came here for my birthday. And even on my last birthday when I came here, I was partaking in ceremony. But this time round, I decided I wanted to do something slightly different. And it's not always about that. Um, but um, it's been it's been really good it's been so interesting and anyone that's never been to the netherlands i really encourage you to come here because um i feel like there's several pockets in the world where you have really unique places and i feel like this is one of them i don't want to say where i live but the town that i um, live in i feel like that's another one and i feel like this country is very much like where I live they are like they go hand in hand I feel like they're both um quite similar I can see the the similarities like there's a beach where I live there's a beach here there's the openness there's the openness where I am there's the um the, the bike culture there's bike culture where I am there is the um freedom of expression um, although that's obviously changing <laughs> as, you know, time is moving on in life and things are not quite the same as they used to be. But I feel like um, it's very much the same. So if I were to come, choose to come and live here, um, I feel like it would, it, I would be slotting right into a very similar um, situation and setup to what I have already so watch this space that's all I'm saying on that one um, I just love it here you know I feel very much at ease here I feel like I feel like I'm at home here I feel there's lo lots of little quirky places to go to lots of interesting things to do I mean, this time round, I've done a lot more than I've done before. And I like the fact that there's also other places that you can see, like I've been to a campsite and um, twice actually, I think, or maybe even three times. I've come here in my van and you get to see other sides of the Netherlands. So you'll get to see like a lot, a lot more of nature and um, that kind of thing. And, um, this time round, it's more of a, like, you know, um, getting to see the city, moving around the city, um, on the trams and what have you. I don't know, it's just such a, um, it's such a beautiful place. And I think the next time I do come here, it will be either spring or summer. Um, I've come here quite a few times in the winter now because my birthday lands um, at that time of the year, you know um February um and so this is when I typically come here because I feel like it's um it's a great place for me I don't know I for some reason I always tend to come here around my birthday it just always seems to be that's what I tend to do but anyway um I've just had such a great time being here and I stayed a bit longer um so anyway, I hope you're enjoying the videos that I've been uploading. Um, there's so many and I've, I'm not gonna upload all of them because there's just way too many, but I'm trying to upload um, some interesting one for you guys. Um, and you get to see what's, what's happening here or whatever. Um, but anyway, um, that's it. If you've got any questions, put them in the comment section below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And um, sorry, there's a bin in the way, but you know, this is, <laughs> this is how I roll with my videos. It's, it's not, 
perfect it's not edited it's not i don't have a uh you know uh, what's it called a ring light thing to make me look all gorgeous and whatever what you see is what you get um there's none of that you know oops uh there's none of that business going on with me so um yes i hope you've enjoyed the video um i hope you enjoy watching the videos and if you've got any comments or anything like that do put it in the comment section below and i see you guys the next time i see you um will probably be with me back in the uk um and my my trip here has come will be coming to an end um, but I am going to upload a few more videos. So anyway, that's it. Um, nothing more to say. And I hope everyone is well. And you're having a good time, whatever it is you're doing. Um, no idea what the weather's like in, in different parts of the world. <laughs> but um, it's pretty um, grim here. But the sun comes out from time to time. So that's it. See you in the next one. Go in peace, people. Namaste. Stay blessed. Peace.